Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to another video now as you see there's no avatar there's no gameplay today's video is more of a serious video than a messing around having fun video because it's gotten to the point now uh before i do begin though i am now an official warface content creator i got accepted which is really nice thank you but unfortunately my first video as a official warface content creator is going to be a little bit of a serious one Something of which I am personally annoyed at. And I'm so glad it got brought up. So, as you see on the screen here, I'm going to put up the original post that's in the Warface Discord console feedback page. Uwu Senpai said, Nintendo Switch. While I've spent quite a bit of money on this game, there has been some stuff pestering me as of late. Price increases on all weapon content excluding gold, weapons, and... I'm going to cancel this last part out because boxes have gotten more expensive, which I'll show later. The non-golden secondaries have increased by $3, and the non-golden primary weapons have increased by $10. Now, I didn't have a problem spending $7 to $10 on weapons, and then when the occasional gold variant dropped, I didn't mind shelling out $25. But now it's a lot harder to get what to get guns and the content, even when it's a skinned gun. When back in the initial release of the game, Skinned guns only costed $10. Now, this is 100% true. When the game first came out, they sold skinned guns for only $10. But now, it's $20. And I don't know why the prices have went up. It's your market, and we have no part in it. So, I don't know why. I love the game, and I love the community, which is why I went as far as to volunteer for you all. But the prices just confuse me. Now, I need to go into this, because this has really annoyed me as a content creator and as a player of the game when the game first came out like he said skinned weapons either if they they were like 300 credits or 1000 credits and you know the time when you'd unlock a a card for a gun where you'd you'd use the boxes and you'd get a contract card thing that you can buy the gun out permanent that also used to be a thousand credits but now for some reason it's gone up to 2000 Yes, I guess you can say as time goes on, they can change what they want, but this is something that they should have told us about, if not just didn't do in general. Because when the game first came out and everyone was having fun, everyone could really just enough afford all of the skinned guns they wanted, while now skinned guns, to get them, by the way, to get the skinned guns in this game, what you're going to have to do is go to the item shop, Nintendo eShop, now, you can't buy 2,000, so you need to end up just getting end, end, getting this one, which is 2,500. It's just... That's 23 pound. That's 23 pound. Unless you just go, hey, 18 pound for two of these. When we used to be able to just buy this and then get the skinned weapons. They were only $10, aka 1,000 credits. It was the main thing. That was, a, that was a good time. And now, for some reason, all of the skinned weapons cost like 2,000. So now, all of the skinned weapons that come out, no matter what they are, they always cost 2,000 credits, which is unacceptable. Now, the reason I say this is because you can't just start with one thing and then change it before anyone else has like an idea. Yes, people are going to buy these. Yes, it's going to be a thing. You can argue, but Ross, these are the new guns. But to be honest, the Thompson isn't new. Thompson's been out forever. These all, in my opinion, just as the game started and the game stated at the beginning, should cost 1,000 credits and not 2,000. Now, that's that bit over with, okay? Like, that's my opinion. These should only cost a thousand, and it's fucking unacceptable that they're charging us near enough twenty-three pound for a fucking skinned version of a gun that doesn't have anything different than the regular version. Okay. Now I'm gonna get into the whole part when they said price increased on all weapon content, including gold weapons and boxes. Boxes have. Have you seen this fucking thing? Okay. This is so fucking stupidly priced. I've never thought I'd ever see a fucking box like this, okay? Now, let me go into this real quick. Boxes usually cost around 35 to maybe 39 each. This box costs 90, okay? 
This box costs 90 credits. So if you do the math, okay, buying five of these boxes is going to be around 400 credits because of the discount on each box. Which, by the way, is fucking stupid stating the fact that you have a chance to get temporary weapons, okay, which is normal, but then you have a chance to get these four permanent weapons here. Now, if you guys didn't know this, the chances of getting a permanent weapon from a box is 1%. So, the fact that none of the regular ones are permanent make this box a fucking scam. It's unacceptable to have a 90 credit box when it's going to cost about 400 credi credits for five of them and for these weapons. Yes, guess what? They look cool. Yes, they're better than their regular variants. But 90 credits? A box? Now, this may be a normal thing on PC. I've seen PC boxes go for like 50 each. I've never seen a box ever go above 90 or even keep at 90. That is unacceptable. Now, if yes, you can argue, but Ross, if you're lucky, you can get it. Yes, you can. But the thing is, this is them testing their bounds. Hey, we can, we're just going to release a 90 credit box, right? And we'll see how many people do it. And if loads of people do it, they'll think, ah, this is where it should be. Let's charge 90 for every single box. Now, also, you can go over the fact that, oh, but Ross, this 90 credit box might have... A higher percentage chance of getting them so it might not be one cent it could one percent it could be higher now yes but the thing is is they do not tell us the statistics behind boxes this has been found out over pc players and stuff like that now them saying oh but ross the hidden war box has a bigger percentage of you getting a weapon yes but you don't disclose the details which means yeah it could it could be two percent that's higher you didn't lie you literally said it could be, it's a higher percentage chance. 2% is a higher percentage chance. Now, do I know that it's 2%? No, I don't. But I think charging people 90 fucking credits for one box, and then 400 for five, for a chance at these? You should really do it. So if you're going to charge people 90 credits a box, every 15 pulls that they do, so... You basically get five pulls at once. So if you charge 500, 400 credits, you get five pulls. So if you do, in my opinion, if someone does three pulls, they should be guaranteed one of these three, per, one of these four permanent weapons. That's only fair since you're charging them an exorbitant amount of fucking money. That is not right. Yes, it's your game and you can do what you want with it. But when you start scamming people out of their money, that's when I'm going to start stepping in. Because regular weapons, skinned weapons, they've all doubled in price. Even the cards have doubled in price since the game came out. It's literally like they're just trying to get away with that. Now I'm not, I'm not shivin, uh, the, 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 I'm not shitting on people. I'm not shitting on the devs. I'm not shitting on anything like that. Okay. I'm just saying, as a content creator. I've had so many people come to me and complain about prices and that I should do something and make a video about it. And it's gotten to the point now where the only reason I'm doing this is one, because of what Senpai said on Discord and the hidden war box. That's the only reason I'm doing this. And this needs to be fixed. It cannot continue like this. You're literally scalping people out of money. For skinned weapons that have no variant boost, like the golden ones. You're charging people golden weapon prices for something with a skin when it should be 1,000 like it used to be. Anyway, that's going to be this run over. But at the end of the day, I am going to tell you all right now, as a content creator and as somebody who really does care about this community, please, for the love of God, every single one of you, go to your Discord. Go to the official Warface Discord. Go to console feedback and upvote Uwu Senpai's post because we cannot let them keep charging us absorbent amount of money for stuff that used to be twice as cheap it's just not fair it's it's just stupid so please everyone go to the official warface discord go to console feedback and upvote the shit out of this post because i've had enough i'm sick of this shit it should be going down not up 
There's no reason for it to. And I think they're just making a fool out of everyone. So thank you all for watching. And I will see you all in the next video.